Okay, we're gonna look at parallel and perpendicular lines. So this is basically like a how-to of how to solve these problems. Given the slope and y-intercept, you're gonna use this y equals mx plus b, m is slope, b is the y-intercept. And then given the slope and point of a line, you're gonna use x minus y1, and then equals m times x minus y2. So here's what you need to know. You need to know that parallel lines have the same slope. And you also need to know that perpendicular lines have slopes that are the opposite sign and reciprocals of each other. Let's go ahead and look at the first example. It says write an equation of the line K with Y intercept three that is parallel to line J. Y equals negative three over four X minus four. So we need to know the slope. So the M is going to be for parallel line and it's gonna be the same slope, negative three over four. And I know my intercept for the y is going to be three. So we're gonna say y equals, our slope comes first, negative three over four, variable x, and then lots of positive three, so it's plus three. Next, it says write the equation of line t with y intercept negative two that is perpendicular to line n y equals four x minus or plus six so the original m is four so that's a four over one and so my m of my perpendicular line is going to be the opposite sign which is going to be negative and then the reciprocal which we are going to flip this is a flip right and it's one over four. It says that my intercept B is gonna be negative two. So when I put this all together, I'm gonna to get Y equals negative one fourth X minus two. All right, you're gonna write an equation of the line that is perpendicular to Y equals negative three X plus two and pass it through two one. So the M of the original is negative three. We're gonna put that over one. And with the perpendicular is going to be opposite sign and then the reciprocal which will be positive one third i know i'm going to use this formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 that's my point slope formula <clears throat> and then we're just going to substitute this is going to be your x1 y1 so y minus one equals one third x minus two one minus one equals one third x minus two over three add one to both sides y equals one third x plus one third that is your solution okay next it says line k has the equation of y equals negative one half plus one and find the equation of a line that passes through four zero and that's perpendicular to k. So I know that my original slope is going to be negative one over two. My slope of my perpendicular line is going to be a positive two. I'm gonna use the same formula over here. <clears throat> so we're gonna say y minus, this is gonna be your x one, y one. Y minus zero equals my perpendicular slope of two times X minus four. So Y minus zero is zero, so Y equals, just to read the two, two X minus eight, and that's your solution. Okay, next it says line K has the equation of Y equals negative one third X minus one. Line N is parallel to k and passes through point two three write an equation for line n graph both equations okay so step one and we're going to do the um, point slope formula so if i have y equals negative one over three x minus one 
three comma two. What I'm gonna do is I know that my slope of my parallel line is gonna be the same, so it's negative one third. And then we're gonna use the point slope formula, y minus y one equals m times x minus x one. And this is gonna be my x one y one. And so I have y minus two equals negative one third times x minus three. I'm gonna distribute y minus two equals negative one over three x plus one. I'm gonna add two, so plus two plus two. My new equation is going to be y equals negative one over three x plus three. Now, don't forget to graph both equations. <clears throat> the first one, y-intercept is negative one, and my slope is negative, so it's gonna go up one over three. That's my first line. My second line is three. It has the same slope, negative one up one over three, or negative one third, excuse me, is a slope. Connect the dots, and that's it. Okay, this is the last example. The line of the equation five x minus three y equals 12 is perpendicular to line j at the point three x, find the equation for line j. Okay, we need to make this one into y equals mx plus b first. So five x minus three y equals 12 minus five x minus five x negative three y equals negative five x plus 12. Divide both sides by negative three. So you're gonna get y equals five thirds x minus four. So my slope is going to be five thirds. My slope of something perpendicular is gonna have the opposite sign. So it's negative and it's gonna be a flip. So it's five denominator three, numerator. And then we use the point slope formula, y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. This is the slope that goes here. So y minus y1 is one equals negative three over five times x minus three, that's the three. So I'm gonna distribute that. Y minus one equals negative three fifths X plus nine fifths. I'm gonna add one to both sides. Y equals negative three fifths X plus 14 fifths. That's your solution.